What's going on, fragrance family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm going to be giving you my weekly fragrance rotation, but I'm going to call them a Sunday fragrance session, just because it's going to take a little bit more time, and you know, I'm not just going to show you, hey, this is what I wore Tuesday, and this is what I wore on Thursday. Like, I wanted to kind of dive into it a little bit more, and you know, for those who are a little bit more into fragrances than just, you want to see a quick two-second description, hey, this smells good, get it, and you know, you want to just sit back and unwind. Guys, this is going to be that video for you. So guys, sit back, unwind, grab your favorite drink, grab a bag of chips or popcorn, whatever you want to do. And guys, let's have some fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this. guys welcome back to the channel like i said my name is tyler this is my channel simply fragrances and if this is your first time welcome we are now family we're now friends be sure to hit that red subscribe button and while you're at it do hit the bell notification that way you do get any and all notifications when i upload a video so like i said guys this is going to be my uh, more or less weekly fragrance rotation but i want to guys just have a chilled laid back environment and we can talk about fragrances this won't be for the you know the college kid just looking to see what fragrances smell good so that way he can get himself a girl no this is going to be more for the enthusiasts and people who actually care um, about you know just the overall environment of fragrances so guys when you see this it is going to be sunday which means it is the asc championship and as you can see got my chiefs gear on i'm a huge diehard chiefs fan no bandwagon fan here guys i go all the way back to elvis gerbag for those who don't know that's around 97 98 so that's before trent green and um there was someone before trent green but he was only there for a season anyways guys no bandwagon here this is our sixth straight afc championship appearance that's absolutely insane and if we get past the ravens it's going to be hard but maybe we can do it i don't know anyways guys there's really no denying the greatness of patrick mahomes but that's not what we're here we're here to talk about fragrances and um we'll get to sunday but guys starting out with monday guys this is one of my favorite fragrances this is one of my wife's favorite fragrances i got the big booty bottle and i've already went through a little bit over 100 mls in the life that i've had this fragrance what am i talking about guys from the house of yves saint laurent this is loam guys and this is just a gem of a fragrance absolutely amazing what more can be said about this fragrance guys it is sweet it's clean it's fresh it's kind of got some woody uh, nuances to it kind of a musky a little bit of a dry down but the star of this guys is that ginger uh, it's so good guys now I've said this before on videos in the past, but guys, this reminds me of just honestly kind of maxing out, chilling in like Malibu on a yacht or something like that. It doesn't smell like super rich, but it just gives me this, um, this, this type of vibe where you're just kind of in a white linen button up t-shirt. You know, you got your um, first couple buttons uh, opened up and you're just sitting there on your beach in Malibu, maybe on a yacht, just watching the sunset, guys. That's the kind of vibe that I get from this, absolutely an absolute banger man i can't get enough of this stuff guys uh, as you can see i've already used up over half of this bottle guys that speaks to the greatness of this fragrance and guys it's a super light versatile fragrance you're not going to go wrong with it you're not going to be you know offending anybody with this in fact you could spray this as much as 15 times guys and you're not going to be overpowering that's the beauty of this fragrance guys but that is what i wore monday all day really i didn't have a scent of the night that night but for monday i went with yves saint laurent loam all right, guys, so that brings us to Tuesday. And Tuesday, I did have a fragrance of the day and a fragrance of the night. So, you know, this one, guys, for some reason, it doesn't really get any love. I actually really enjoy this. I don't think it's as good as the original, but I do appreciate this. And with spring right around the corner, guys, if you don't have this in your collection, just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. You might thank me later for it. But for Tuesday day, guys, I went with Mont Blanc, and this is Ultra Blue. Guys, for some reason, this just doesn't really get talked about a lot. And I love this, guys. It's just fresh. It's citrusy. It's clean. It's kind of a manly musky fragrance in the dry down, guys. It does kind of have a blue vibe to it, but overall, it's just a clean, fun fragrance, guys. Super easy to wear. I've gotten compliments off of this stuff, guys. Like, I just don't understand the hate behind this fragrance. Not maybe not necessarily hate, but it just doesn't really get talked about a lot, and I don't understand why. Absolutely love this, guys. Clean, fresh, a little bit of a musk to it. Give me a little spritz here. And it does have... You know, that Mont Blanc DNA, guys, absolutely a banger in my opinion. I don't know. For some reason, it just doesn't really get talked about a lot, but 
I absolutely love it. So for Tuesday day, I went with Mont Blanc. This is ultra blue. And then that night out the shower, it was a little bit cold. So I wanted something a little bit more, a little bit more heavy, a little bit more warm and spicy. And for that guys, I went with Volgari. This is Man in Black. Now, I don't know. People have said this has been discontinued. I don't think it is. I see it at um, you know Macy's and Dillard's, but it, it's, it is few and far between. So I don't know if this has been discontinued or not, but guys, just a warm, spicy, kind of a almost cinnamon, like you get this warm, spicy cinnamon, almost like you're sitting by uh, a campfire, almost type of smoke to it. Guys, I absolutely love this stuff. Now this has been compared to um, Ah, Spice Bomb Extreme, but I like this one better, actually. I really do. It's a little bit more smooth. It's a little bit more well-rounded. It's a little bit more loud, in my opinion. The new versions of Spice Bomb Extreme are really weak compared to what they used to be. And this stuff, guys, it just keeps singing. Absolutely love this stuff. Like I said, guys, it was a little bit colder that night, so I wanted to go with something a little bit more warm and spicy. Now, on these fragrances, guys, I didn't get any compliments, but I knew that I was smelling good and I was feeling good about myself. And at the end of the day, guys, yes, compliments are always nice, but that's not always why we wear fragrances. And that's not what I go for. I just like to smell good, guys. And those fragrances definitely did the job. So that was Tuesday. Let's go ahead and get to Wednesday. All right, guys, so for Wednesday during the day, guys, I went with a company that has really, guys, it, it's kind of starting to take off. And for good reason. It's because they put out great products. They put out great fragrances. And guys, their stuff, it's strong and it's long lasting but it's also cheap but it doesn't smell cheap so what am i talking about guys coming from the house of barrett i'm not going to show too much of this because it'll reflect but this is their fragrance big blue and guys shout out to scott aromatico for this one um me and him were talking about this on a live and uh, he just raved about it guys and made me curious and so i wound up getting it guys if you want to try something from barrett guys use code simply frag nine that's going to save 20 percent off of your order guys so it takes nine dollars off of a full bottle that's why i did you know simply fragrance nine or simply frag nine so that way you know how many dollars you're getting off not necessarily the percentage so anyways guys nine dollars off of a full bottle presentation meaning you can get this for 35 bucks guys can't really beat that and this is his take on uh blue de chanel the parfum and and to me, it kind of smells like a mixture of Blue de Chanel Parfum meets Versace Dylan Blue, which is actually really crazy that I like this because I absolutely do not like Versace Dylan Blue. I think it smells just like this cheap, like musky baby wipe. It sounds crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm just, you know, offending a lot of people out there, but that's just my experience with it. I don't really like it, guys. But this, I like it. It takes that kind of spicy, woody, musky blueness that you would get from uh, Versace Dylan Blue and it just smooths it out a little bit, guys. This stuff absolutely a banger guys like i said guys use code simply frag nine save yourself nine dollars off of a full bottle under 35 under 35 bucks guys you really can't go wrong with this and so guys i did get a compliment wearing this one like i said we don't always wear comp or we don't always wear compliments we don't always wear fragrances for the compliments but it is nice to get those and big blue garnered me a compliment guys and then for that night a little bit cooler guys we've been having some weird weather it's been like 50s 40s in the day and then going down into like the 20s and 30s in the night going in even into like the negatives which has been absolutely miserable don't like that but for wednesday night guys i went with one of my favorites guys this is john vorvados and this is the original absolutely love this stuff i don't know why people don't talk about this it's this kind of creamy woody like not quite leathery like it almost kind of gives a suede vibe to me just a little bit, nothing nothing super crazy. Just a gentleman's kind of fragrance, guys. Not a barbershop or a fougere or anything like that. Does utilize the note of date in here, and I absolutely love this stuff, guys. Just a unique fragrance. Nothing quite really smells like it. I don't know why it doesn't get talked about more, guys. You can get a full bottle like this for under 40 bucks if you shop it around. So that was my Wednesday night fragrance. Just kind of lay around the house, take the dogs out, you know, just be in the house guys absolutely love doing stuff like that wearing stuff to just smell good so for wednesday night guys i went with john varvados all right guys so this brings us to thursday and thursday i did wear two fragrances so when i went to work on thursday guys i went ahead and pulled out this bad boy definitely doesn't get enough love guys this is mont blanc presence and this is one of my favorites from them if i'm not mistaken i do think that this is their original fragrance guys launched back in 2001 it's this weird mixture almost guys it's like 
it's like a fougere, but not quite. It's like this warm, spicy, it's got cinnamon and nutmeg and lavender, but it has this clean, almost barbershop style of vibe to it in the opening guys but then as it dries down you get a lot of heliotrope and the cinnamon and it's almost like a cinnamon bark if you will and guys it's super super amazing i don't know why people don't talk about this guys for like under 25 bucks you can get this full bottle i think it's a 2.5 ounce but guys such a unique fragrance absolutely love this stuff guys really can't get enough of this and it has that creamy factor to it what's not to love about that guys and then for Thursday night, guys, I went with one of my wife's all-time favorite fragrances because we were hanging out and, you know, just kind of wanted to, you know, put something on for her. So, guys, I went with 1 million Lucky. Guys, another reflective bottle, so pardon me not showing it too much. But, guys, this is probably my favorite in the line of the Flankers. Um, absolutely love this stuff, guys. A sweet, um, almost bubblegummy sweet um, factor that we get, you know, like from the original uh, 1 million. But there's that chestnut or hazelnut. I forget which one it is, but kind of gives it this nutty uh, vibe to it absolutely amazing and guys this is a powerhouse absolutely just rocking the place um, I forgot where we went to I can't I don't know where we went to, but we went somewhere. We went to hang out somewhere and uh, we got dinner somewhere. Anyways, um, and I was pumping with this stuff, guys. I think I did too many sprays. I think I did like six sprays. Normally, guys, with something like this, I try to rock around four to five just because it is so strong. Uh, I got several compliments where we were at, so that's always a good thing. Like I said, who doesn't like compliments but guys that was thursday let's go ahead and move to friday all right guys so for friday it was kind of a warmer day it was like around 45 50 which might sound crazy to some of you calling that warm but guys last week i think it was we were like down in the negative 18 with wind chill it, it was silly so um it almost felt like a heat wave to me and so for friday guys i went with one of my favorites and this is one of my wife's favorites as well guys this is yves saint laurent and this is the y edp now i do like the EDT better I think this one's really growing on me this is your typical blue style fragrance guys but that green apple in the top is absolutely lovely guys one of my like I said one of my wife's all-time favorites and guys I really can't get enough of this fragrance I've been finding myself reaching for it more and more even if it's just to smell the cap guys a lot of these times maybe have fragrances this much you don't wear everything you know throughout the week but sometimes you just go in your studio or your room wherever you have your fragrances and you just smell stuff and that's what i do a lot of the times it's so good guys absolutely clean fresh a little bit of woody musk in the dry down but that green apple really pops and guys it does the trick so for friday night guys i just wanted to kind of chill out and you know just breathe a little bit and this is one of my favorites to wear really anywhere out the house and you know like I said, anywhere. But guys, I went with Aqua de Jo, and this is Profumo, guys. This is the original Aqua de Jo DNA, but it's got that patchouli incense vibe to it, and it just works, guys. Ah, such a beautiful fragrance, guys. It's so sad that it's been discontinued, but kind of not because you have the Parfum that came out, and now they're talking about a Profumo 2024. I don't know. I, that. I don't know, man. I don't get designers. I don't get it, guys. They're just in it for the money. I get that. They, they're here to make a business. But, guys, really? You need three flankers of the same fragrance in, you know, three, four years? I don't know. Anyways, but rock that just around the house just to kind of lay around in. Guys, I love that fragrance. Um, obviously, no compliments on that one just because I was at the house. But that's, you know, that's just what I wanted to do. So, guys, for Friday night it was Profumo on a Saturday. All right, guys, so today is Saturday. It's recording of this video. You guys are watching it Sunday. But guys, for Saturday during the day, I went with my favorite fragrance, guys. Um, as of right now, this is my favorite fragrance. It might change, it might not, I don't know. I'm just excited to have one. But uh, coming from the house of Dior, guys, this is Dior Home Intense, and I've said this just, you know, many times. This is my favorite fragrance right now. This to me is just the most well-balanced, perfect fragrance, guys. It is sweet, it's spicy, it's masculine, yet elegant and you know unisex in a way. Um, it has this beautiful, creamy, powdery iris, and it's just done right, guys. Absolutely my favorite fragrance right now, and especially for the fall, winter, you know, even into early spring with those cooler days, this is rocking, guys. It's a, dr it's a rainy, dreary day, and uh, not really doing much of anything other than filming. And guys, this is what I went with. Absolutely love this stuff. It is just a powerhouse, but yet 
it's strong and makes its presence known but it doesn't fill the room it doesn't like take over it just leaves this beautiful almost like smoky scent trail wherever you go and i absolutely love this stuff guys like i said my favorite fragrance right now and then for tonight it's supposed to get really chilly so i wanted to go with something a little bit more sweet a little bit more a little more powerful a little bit more loud and i think we're going out tonight so i might be getting some sushi which is why i wanted to go with this stronger with you leather so forgive the reflection but guys this is my favorite flanker in the uh the stronger with you line i really like the oud i like the absolutely i like the the freeze even but guys this one it just does it right it's got that sweet spicy kind of cardamom uh creamy dry down but it's got this beautiful leather note but it's not a super you know loud obnoxious leather fragrance it's done right it's a little bit creamy a little bit more sweet so um, be careful on the sprays with this one guys but it is my favorite in that line and like i said we might be getting some sushi might be doing something i don't know we just want to get out and about and just kind of enjoy each other's time because i have been working a lot lately and I do start a new job here soon, so details on that to come. But I've been working for my uncle and uh, doing some painting. So, anyways, been doing long days and you know, just wanted to spend some time with the wife. So, tonight I'm gonna go with one of her favorites and one of my favorites. This is Stronger With You Leather. All right, guys, so that brings us to today, or at least when you're watching this, like I said, I'm recording on Saturday, but airing on Sunday. Anyways, guys, for Sunday, I have two fragrances picked out, and I know exactly what I'm gonna wear for the latter part of the day because it's a tradition. And uh, for those who follow me on Instagram, you might know. But anyways, um, for the day, guys, for church, I'm a pastor. So I'm going to be preaching. I want to go something with a little bit more clean, a little bit more, you know, just happy, if you will. And this is a very happy fragrance to me. Very clean and just regal, if you will. But yet, at the same time, versatile. So anyways, guys, when I'm preaching, I'm going to be wearing Creed's Original Vetiver. And it was kind of a weird week. I didn't wear a lot of niche, actually. And uh, that's not normally what I do. But uh, man, this one, definitely going to be reached for a lot more, especially with spring right around the corner. It's already starting to kind of, you know, warm up a little bit but guys just a clean green fresh fragrance and i'm not a huge vetiver fan but this is my favorite vetiver fragrance and this is actually the fragrance that has got me even in looking into vetiver fragrances so man can't wait to wear this one tomorrow it's so clean and fresh and it's got this soapiness to it it's not like a you know a typical vetiver fragrance this is a great gateway into vetiver if you want to start you know experiencing um, you know a good vetiver so that's going to be the scent of the day during the day and then for that afternoon into the nighttime guys it is a tradition that i've had for the past almost five years um well now six because uh every single time the chiefs have went to the afc championship or the super bowl which has been the past six years. Um, not bragging, but kind of. Um, the first time that happened, I wore this bad boy. This was Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And I'm not superstitious. I'm not, you know, anything like that. But every time I wear this, guys, the Chiefs go to the AFC Championship. Do they always win it? No. But the last three times they've went to the Super Bowl, I've wore this. In the last six years, I, they, they went to the AFC Championship. I've wore this. So you know just kind of a tradition like i said not a man of superstition i don't believe in it but uh yeah that's what i'm going to be rocking on sunday afternoon into sunday night guys um absolutely one of my favorite fragrances and for those who don't know this was actually my first creed fragrance that i ever got i went with this over aventus i don't know why i just i wanted this it just you know it was kind of one of those choices i had in front of me i could have get aventus or i could have gotten green hours tweed i went with green hours tweed still to this day don't really know why because i love aventus but Nonetheless, guys, Green Irish Tweed, a great, fresh, citrusy, green, uh, lemon verbena kind of fragrance with this kind of almost wet, like, muskiness to it. If you guys have smelled cool water, you guys know what I'm talking about. But, guys, overall, that's my week in fragrances. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, going to be a little bit more of a longer video and maybe, you know, something where we just talk more in depth about the fragrances versus, oh, hey, just smell this. It smells good and get it. You're going to love it. You know what I mean? Um... You know, wanted to go more in a different direction and, you know, actually talk about the fragrances. So, uh, for those who enjoyed this, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know, guys, what were your fragrances this week? What'd you rock with? Did you get any compliments? Guys, anything new that you tried? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I'd love to talk to with you about this. And who knows, maybe maybe I'll start doing lives on Sunday instead of just doing, you know, like a, uh, you know, a, a recording or something. But let me know if that's something you guys want to do and, uh, 
might adapt that into the uh, the week's rotation, guys. But let me know down in the comment section, guys, what you wore this week, any compliments, anything new, anything you want to try, guys, let me know. I'm going to catch you in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And remember, if you love it, wear it.